The Israel-Hamas war is now on its 21st day and casualties are mounting on both sides of the border. The fighting has killed more than 1,400 Israelis, according to the government. And Hamas-controlled Gaza Health Ministry says more than 7,000 Palestinians have been killed. ABC's Inez de la Coutera reports from Jerusalem. Israel Defense Forces ramping up their aerial assaults, a series of explosions lighting up the night sky in Gaza. An IDF spokesman saying they're expanding ground activity. We are conducting our sweep and clear activities in order to create better conditions for operational optimal operational conditions on the ground. Earlier video released by the IDF showed tanks, fighter jets and drones hitting what the Israeli military said were Hamas missile launch sites and command centers. Other video distributed by the Israeli military showed raids conducted from the sea towards Gaza. The soldiers exited the area following the activity. Despite being under relentless aerial bombardment for the last three weeks, Hamas militants are still able to strike Israel. Friday morning, a Tel Aviv apartment building was hit by a rocket fired from Gaza. There was heavy damage, and officials say at least four people were injured. The reason I think we don't have any casualties, to the best of my understanding of the scenario, is because people acted according to the instructions. In Gaza, the humanitarian situation becomes more dire. Hundreds of people lining up at a U.N. aid station to get fresh water. A medical team and 10 aid trucks entered the enclave from Egypt, carrying much-needed supplies. Basic services are crumbling. Medicine is running out. Food and water are running out. And representatives for the families of some of the American hostages who met with Vice President Kamala Harris today say they were not notified the IDF is expanding its ground operations. Meanwhile, a U.S. official tells ABC News the Israelis are launching a more limited incursion. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News, Jerusalem.